Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Kena Bridge of Spirits. This time I'm going to show you how to take down Corrupted Toshi. Corrupt Toshi is a really difficult boss, and I recommend learning how to parry before this fight. This ability here, you can shield dash through. I highly recommend at the start of this fight just standing still for the most part and waiting for him to do that ability. Otherwise, you can kind of get tripped up with some really quick sword slashes. So just bait out that first ability. This combo here where he blocks, that is the perfect opportunity to practice your parrying because he delays every single swing and you can guarantee that he's going to do that backhand swing after he blocks all of your attacks. So that's a really, really, really effective way to practice parrying. This boss will take you a lot of attempts. I can almost guarantee it. Okay. So with that said, you saw me dodge the fireballs there. I'm going to shield dash through this. If you manage to do it from close enough, you can get a little bit of stun on him. And then we are able to parry this attack. Getting him near walls is most effective when you're trying to use Rot Hammer because then the second hit of Rod Hammer will bounce off the wall and hit him in the back for bonus damage. So you can see here, I'm doing my best to parry as much as I can. The reason you want to be really good or comfortable parrying and confident parrying, I should say, is because he can really chain his own abilities against you and that is really hard to deal with. You only have so much shield and so much health that it can be really tough to deal with everything. So when he moves into the center of the arena and throws that spear down onto the ground, you want to double jump, cock your bow, and use an empowered rot arrow. And if you hit him in the mask, you can guarantee that he will fall. I wasn't sure if he was going to explode out of that like most bosses do, so I just backed up, but I could have went in for more damage there. You can see another parry there, and then we use rot hammer. That got both hits in, and then we're sort of just waiting for the rest of the attacks. Those flame sword strikes and flame staff strikes, those are really, really difficult to deal with. I cannot exaggerate that enough. They are really, really tough to deal with and can really overwhelm you. That's why pairing is so important. Yeah, so he just chains on forever. If he does manage to get that full combo out, the last hit will always be a pound on the ground that you want to jump over. And if you do that, then you can do some sort of ability after that to get some free damage in. But you want to make sure you jump on the last flame strike. And that's kind of the boss. I know the strategy of pairing can be very difficult. Believe me, I know. I think this boss took me 10 or 11 attempts. It is quite difficult. But it is a 1v1 duel. He uses all the abilities of all the other bosses that you fought in the village. Hunter, Warrior, and Mask Maker. He uses basically all those abilities in tandem and can be very difficult. You just got to get comfortable with parrying. Like I said before, I recommend any time he starts blocking your attacks, complete that block string and just learn how to parry that last attack that he does back, that counter attack. And I guarantee you, if you become comfortable parrying that counter attack, you will feel comfortable parrying the rest of them. He delays every single one of his hits. It is done deliberately to make you sort of sit there and spam your shield or just hold it in preparation for him doing something. But if you just wait for him to delay his attack and then press L1 as soon as he moves toward you, I can guarantee you that you'll get the parry as long as he wasn't a football field away. But that's it. That is how you defeat Corrupt Toshi, and that's the guide. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Kena, Bridge of Spirits, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The link for that is in the video description below. I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.